Printing Output The print function can be used to print data to the console. Let's see some examples. Printing a single argument. Let's say this is the code. We have three lines of code having three print functions, one with a string, the second with an integer and the third with a float value. Once we run this, the output is this. Welcome, the string is printed in the first line. 23, the integer is printed in the second line. 29.5, that is the float, is printed in the third line. It is to be noted that every print function will print the contents on a new line. Printing multiple arguments. Let's say we have three values, two, three, and a string, try me, separated by commas in a single print function. Once we run this, the output is something like this. So the entire contents, that is two, three, and try me, are printed on the same single line. This is how you can print multiple things in a single line. The use of end keyword. Let's say this is the code and end keyword in the third print function is specified. When we run this, the output is something like this. The first two statements that is print 1 and 2 will print 1 and 2 on different lines. The third statement having 3 will print 3 followed by end that is at the rate over here followed by the next line contents which is 4 over here. This means that whenever we specify end keyword it will not go to the next line but instead it will print the contents of the next print statement on the same line itself. This is how when we see that print 5 is executed since print 4 was not having any end argument specified so it will by default go to a next line and 5 will be printed on a new line. This is how we can say that if we want to print multiple things on the same line but we do not want the line to be changed but we want to use different print functions, we can use the end keyword. The SEP keyword argument. Let's say that a print statement having a string quick fox followed by an integer which is separated by a comma have the SEP keyword specified as a comma. As we could see in this example that there were three values which were comma separated. By default, these commas are replaced by single spaces. But if we specify the SEP keyword to be a comma or let's say any other character or even a string that will be substituted in place of those comma. When we run this code, it comes something like this. So between quick fox, that is the string, and two, there is a comma, which is actually the SEP keyword.